come to the experiment number 90, uh, measurement of power recovery factor and water cut. The objective of this experiment is to determine the water cut and oil recovery factor, uh, water oil in the test, in the core sample. Water is injected at a constant flow rate through a core which is saturated with oil and residual water to simulate the rear reservoir liquid condition with water flooding. Injection time produced oil volume and produced water volume are measured and then water cut and oil recovery factor will be calculated. First, uh, let's, let's understand what's oil recovery factor, RF. Uh, oil recovery factor is the recoverable amount of original oil in place normally expressed as percentage. So RF is equal to QO uh, divided by OOP or original oil in place. And water cut, F the W, is the ratio of water produced compared to the volume of total liquid produced. F W is equal to a Q W divided by a Q total. The equipment and the material required for the ex ex for this experiment is uh, tilden, uh, is kuban, and uh, stopwatch to measure the time for uh, for the flow rate. Calculator to calculate the uh, recovery factor and uh, water cut and brine concentration 0.4 uh, weight percentage KCL uh, potassium chlor potassium chloride and oil and we use DCAN as our oil in this experiment and of course the experiment model in this experiment we are going to use uh, Temco core holder uh, which has combined pressure so we will have uh, more simulating uh, condition to the uh, rear reservoir and the sandstone core it will be put inside now after putting the core sample inside the core holder we will start the procedure of our experiment first the core sample is vacuumed then saturated with brine water which is 0 0.1, 0 0.4 uh, weight percent KCL and then the can is used to displace the water until no water is coming out. This is generated reduced uh, residual water and saturated the core sample with oil. Recording the volume of the decan inside the core that will give us the original oil in place. Second step is to make sure that the pump is fully loaded with brine water which is 0.4 weight percent KCL and then set to constant flow rate which is 1 milliliter per minute then placing the empty test tube at the outlet so this is the outlet of our core holder and we will place these gradual test tubes so we can record the, the outlet from, from this end here and then press start at the pump and start and stop watch to set the time so we, we can see the timing of the flow rate at the outlet here. Read the lowest liquid level of the tube and record this in table number one that we have in the manual. Repeat with more tubes and record the time once you change the tube by using the stopwatch. After the number seven, after the liquid is stratified, which you can observe, the water is at the bottom of the test tube and the oil is at the top calculate FW you may need to change the tube more frequently frequently even they are full when FW is higher than 99% stop the, the experiment by pressing stop on the pump for each used tube if they are filled with any oil pour it back in the oil tank and clean it otherwise just pour it in the sink and clean the tube so now with the recording of time produced oil volume and produced water volume it is possible to calculate a produced water cut and recovery factor as a conclusion you need to calculate FW of each tube calculate FR of each tube then plot 
fw in y axis uh, as a function of porphyrium and at x axis. Then you can plot rf at the y axis as a function of porphyrium at the x axis.